Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of the internet. What's inside of a party popper? Let's get let's get to figuring that out. Alright. Let's start off by reviewing what a party popper is. Essentially just a small plastic little piece, full string, Bob Jaronti att attachment, kablooey. Okay. Now, besides the whole funfetti factor, we're going to try not to detonate this. But, you never know. This could be fun. I got bored tonight and I just figured might as well just share a couple laughs and, and, and giggles. Okay. Funfetti. Then we have uh, the actual charging device, which is back here on a string. Well, so I keep running into the freaking toolbox underneath me. Do not, do not try this at home. Luckily for you, I am. Okay, so, oh, it's a small deck cord. That's cool. So it's essentially just a pull, uh, like a draw bar, um, System. I think that's what you call it. Could be mistaken. But yeah, it's it's actually kind of cool. That'd be a good uh, good little trick to have. Um, essentially, you pull the string back here. It pulls it out and um, uh, detonates the inside. That's uh, that's kind of cool. And the force outputting because this is kind of a ventricle chamber. It isolates here, pushes out, and uses. The bottom end as almost like a sabo and projects out the funfetti all over to an inspecting person. That's cool. I like that. Alright, let's try to get her apart a little bit more. And see if we can get you completely dislodged because I want to try something with you. Easy now. Easy. Yeah, don't want to pull on that excess. You don't have the tools to do the job to make it. There we are, right there. Alright, cool. So pretty much you have canister, propellant, uh, propellant, Wadding, shielding, and yeah, that's it. Have fun. Now you guys may be wondering to yourselves, selves, why am I watching a random guy on the, on the internet take apart a party popper? Well, because we're doing a little experiment here. Let's see if we can use this, a party popper usage, to power a small cannon. Take a little bit of threading in there and let's see how she goes. Nice. Rip headphone users. That was cool. I like that. Don't mind the battery acid. Alright, cool. Ooh. Okay. Let's try something a little bit different. Since we know that that is the application, we can now charge it. We shouldn't need a whole lot in there to make it fireable. The packing, yeah, that's it. Okay. Moving battery acid, mom on speed dial, wife currently pissed. All right, fire in the hole. <laughs> Too much backing. Oh, well, that's a failure mode. Okay. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. It's my first time recording with a, with a GoPro, so I'm just dicking around. Let's see what the... Exp 
explosion rate was on the other one. Smoky. So here we can clearly see that the charge is located inside the tip itself. So having having the um, the pulse the pull cord isolated in the back end uh, allows for a little bit of structure. Plus, when you pull on that, like this. Okay, let's see if, what we're dealing with here. Okay, essentially, it explodes out the side or or wherever it can. Um, yeah, it's essentially just a pop cap. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the actual orientation of that chemical is, but it's a uh, it's a pop cap, a little bit of white residue, smells of sulfur, a little bit of uh, like a little pop cap that you would see at a um, at a uh, you know child's toy. Um, but anyway, have a wonderful day. Uh, hope you learned something, and uh, as always. Take it easy. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even need to take it. Jesus Christ. Failure mode activated. Alright, let's send you home with a bang. Surprise, everyone!